What's up vlog? What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Saturday morning. I just finished a quick park run. I haven't done one of those in a while. If you're like quite big into running, I highly suggest park run if you want that little competitive drive on the weekend. Um, I, I did mine with my girlfriend's dad, Eloise's dad, because he's like a long time park runner. Um, yeah, had a good run. It was sunny earlier. It's raining now in Brighton. Gonna do some window shopping. Read a book. Go to a coffee shop. Just standard little cool down stuff. Eloise has Pilates. So I'm just chilling. But yeah, really good run. Was close, man. Close to the sub 20. Um, if you guys do know Parkrun, you know that some of the times it's all different terrains depending on challenge levels and whatnot. Some are really easy, some are really hilly, some are mixed. But, um, Oh, it's hailing now. The one I went to in Tilgate Park in Crawley is quite like, it's fairly challenging. It has two big hills in the run and those tend to slow even the faster runners down in terms of your time. So to get so close to sub 20 at still a challenging route was satisfying, but it was a bit annoying because I was like 20 seconds short from actually being a sub 20. So satisfying, but you know, a little bit like, mm. and I come 17th today out of like, I think it was like 300 or 400 people today and I come top 20, so happy with that too. But yeah, hope everyone's good. Hope everyone's been enjoying the vlogs. And if you're new to the vlogs, then yeah, hope you enjoy the vlogs. I'm gonna do like a little segment on stuff I picked up recently because it was my birthday. So including my new Cuban that I've got on um, a few little trinkets so I'll, I'll do a little pickup segment too but for now I'm just gonna chill out and um, wait out the rain also I forgot to say this is the book that I'm reading at the moment the creative act by Rick Rubin so uh, yeah as a as a creative creator Especially someone that makes music. By the way, guys, my new single will be out soon. I haven't released music in so long, so it feels really, really weird saying this, but um, yeah. Yeah, some creators, they make clothes. Me, I make music, so it's a lot easier for you guys to support me because you don't even have to buy anything. You just could stream my music. So isn't that refreshing? A fashion content creator that just makes music. See, I'm not trying to sell you anything. Just stream my song. I suppose that is kind of selling you something. But yeah, my new single will be out very, very soon. I'll drop some details about that, hopefully in the coming weeks. But I do have a single that will be out. Maybe I'll play it at the outro at the end. But yeah, Rick Rubin, you know him, you know, he's really, really big in the music industry. I've seen this book um, a few times. So yeah, I picked this up. So I'm gonna get a coffee. I'm gonna read this book. I'm gonna chill.
what's up vlog i hope you guys are well like i said in the previous section we're just going to do a quick pickup segment of stuff that i've picked up recently seeing as it was my birthday and the first thing that i think that we should cover is the two pieces from Oray actually um we'll do that in a minute first being this Oray um jewelry case now this is something i wanted for a while it's a bit i got it from as a present from eloise it's weird because it's now actually gone on sale so if you guys want this i think he's doing a sale at the moment as well and it's just a really nice jewelry box with a mirror and compartments for my chains as well as another section here oh sorry that folds out and you can put your necklaces or your jewelry in this case flip this up have a mirror earrings rings jewelry and whatnot i got this as kind of a motivator to actually buy a little bit more jewelry as well because obviously as you guys can see it's a bit empty other than my jesus piece which i'll probably get a few more jesus piece this is like i have a jesus piece from chain and Abel. i have another chain as well from chain label but it broke the clasp wasn't working that well and i have this beautiful cuban that um eloise also got me kind of with a box it's it's just the right amount of thickness so i really really have been enjoying wearing this um and it's nice as like a layering piece of like other in a jewelry like this underneath so it's just kind of a way i really like the box but also i got the box in terms of like it's a really cool box and i want to fill it up so it's kind of a motivator in terms of you've got the jewelry box but <laughs> you know fill up the jewelry box he also does a really nice watch case so shout out ray for the like accessories really because i feel like not a lot of brand do well not a lot of brands that i follow do like cases and stuff for your accessories and they're little things that i actually really like because i like having like a little bit of tidiness a little bit of neatness to the chaos so having something like this that's aesthetically pleasing but is also very very functional is amazing i really like it um as well as the case i also asked for one of Ray, Ray's first magazine from Small Hours to be sent over to me as like a birthday present sorry from my girlfriend and she didn't disappoint but this is Small Hours magazine from Ray and it's got a lot of brands on here that um I believe a lot of you guys would like and know about um for me it's not it's got Ray obviously in here it's got Haven Court it's got O files, so a lot of the like YouTubers that have brands are also featured in this book. Sorry, so um, for me, I haven't actually had a chance to sit down just because actually at the moment I have so much literature and and books that I'm reading through, so I actually haven't had a chance to sit down and read this. But this book was more to just get more inspiration and more knowledge on um, brands that I was unaware of. So shout out shout out Ray because aesthetically again this this book is very very pleasing and yeah I can't wait to kind of get into this more and find out about more brands that I uh, know about so I've got like this it's also got let me find the one of my favourite edits which was the recent old files Drop. So this one, the recent profiles drop, and this book is covering workwear and American workwear. So yeah, like I said, very, 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 very cool. There we go. So very, very happy with that. Second book that I picked up recently is oh my god so much fluff on this 
creative, the creative act by Rick Rubin. Really, 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 really cool book. Um, very in innovative, very challenging to people that call themselves creatives, such as myself. I've actually been the most sloppiest creative other than YouTube. Of all my other creative avenues, I've kind of been holding off on or not taking so seriously. But um, I think this book is a great inspiration and what I've taken away from this book is so far I haven't finished it, I'm like probably about maybe like a quarter in if that. But um, it's just like if you're creative actually, if you're going to call yourself an artist and creative you actually have to try and live, you have to live that life every day. There's no good calling yourself a creative and whatnot when you don't actually practice your craft or your art you know you can't it's like that he compared it in the book to it's like being a monk you can't say you're a monk you're either a monk or you're not like so um it kind of made me think like i need to actually be a creator rather than just call myself that but then again we live in a day and age where everyone's apparently creative and whatnot so we won't get into that but yeah um, really really good book recommend it if you're someone that is creative and needs like a bit of a push or needs like just a little bit more insight from other people uh, what else have I got behind here okay I got this our uh, legacy belt in this pouch shout out my mum for this one she's grilling me because a lot of my pants, well not a lot, a few of my pants wouldn't fit me right and I didn't have a belt and she's like how do you not have a belt and blah 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 telling me off for not having a belt but yeah she went and got me this for my birthday it's a lovely our legacy belt in I believe cowhide leather the leather is really sick and really good quality and I do think it's going to age, age really really nicely and the hardware feels so premium, like so thick almost. I'm not sure if it's actually sterling silver. I have a feeling it might actually be solid sterling silver. So I'll research that one and get back to you. But um, yeah, made in Portugal, lovely, lovely belt. That's all I can say. I really needed a belt. So <laughs> shout out Mumsy for this one. Uh, thank you. Thanks and thanks and thanks. So, yeah, and comes with a nice dust bag for it to belong in, which is always very, very nice. Okay, okay. Last but not least, we have this, which is probably my favorite present that I've been wanting for a really long time, and it's by Big B, 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 B. And that is by Riddle. And the scent is called Baldafric. So yeah, this is a scent that I've been wanting for a very, very long time. I probably I tried it like I don't know, maybe like two years ago now, and I really, really wanted this scent. So shout out my mum again for getting this scent I know these scents are really expensive and stuff so I feel very privileged to, to, to have a nice scent like this to be honest um and yeah shout out my mom for always helping me grow my scent collection she's like a big part of why I pride myself on smelling goods from young she always put me on game when it comes to like smells and upcoming stuff like that so um upcoming brands and whatnot I feel like my mum is big on like scents and different different brands like someone's screaming fast so, uh, different brands like Margiela by Riddle like my mum was the first person to put me on Margiela fragrances like years and years ago when I was young um Celine at the moment I'm eyeing up a few different scents this year I'm gonna start by myself some some nice scents so definitely got a few on my up. Tom Ford, like Santal Blush. You got um, Celine Black Tie. I've heard is good. Maybe even some Vanilla Oods from Barreto again. But yeah, definitely a lot of scents I'm eyeing up. But yeah, that is all my pickups. Nothing too crazy in the moment. But yeah, we you know 
you know, be still grateful, be humble, you know, you ain't got to always be the bank or anything. But yeah, like I said, more and more content coming this year, guys. Really, really try and help me push the channel. Please do like and do subscribe and do comment down below if you do like the vlogs. It means a lot to me and it really, really boosts my videos out to algorithm, which means the content goes further, which means the channel grows, which means I can then create more videos. Um, but yeah, and I'm grateful for all of you that, that do comment on videos as well, because that's what motivates me to turn up next Sunday and make another video. So thank you, thank you very, very much. And as always, I'll see you next Sunday. Hope you guys have a good week and take it easy.